And back to Lori Aretzi, a high-profile criminal defense lawyer who was a member of Scott Peterson's original defense team. Why is the court now saying that Stanislaus County should take another look at the conviction, the guilty verdict itself? Uh, because one of the jurors, uh, I believe it was juror number seven, uh, did not disclose that she was a victim of a crime, not just a victim of any crime. She was pregnant, four and a half months pregnant at the time, and was very, very much in fear of the safety of her unborn child. The ex-girlfriend of her boyfriend had been threatening. Uh, there are certain things that she was alleging that she was doing that it was so bad that she ended up getting a restraining order uh, against her for at least three years. And in fact, that same woman was convicted of a crime and ended up serving time. Uh, so the idea that she kept that to herself was extremely highly prejudicial, especially in a case where you had a pregnant mm -hmm. Lacey who had gone missing mm -hmm. and an unborn child had gone missing. So, so it was crucial that exactly. Um, so it's the same both sides grounds. knew about this. It's the same allegation, the same argument that was made to get the death penalty sentence reversed that's being used for the court to re-examine whether the conviction itself should stand. Let's get back and Not exactly, though. Not exactly. That's not the way I see it. The, the, mm -hmm. the death penalty was reversed on different grounds. In that case, the court, the judge made a huge mistake, and he basically disqualified anyone who said they do not believe in a death penalty, mm -hmm. never bothered to allow the, the defense or the prosecution to question on voir dire. These for, jurors, 13 they, they jurors, could be fair. for 13 jurors, for 13 jurors, out of but hundreds stop, of jurors, other jurors that were questioned on that very issue. Those 13 jurors were not. So we have that issue. Then we have the juror issue of juror number seven, Michelle Reese, who did not disclose she had a temporary restraining order taken out, and there was a subsequent conviction of her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend who was harassing her, the juror, during her pregnancy. Those are two claims. Is there a third claim, Laura Uretzian? Not to my knowledge okay. as far as the so court is concerned. Those two claims no. are, in fact, the same claims that are being argued and presented for the conviction itself to be reversed. Let's get back in touch with the facts at issue. 